Hey guys, so today we're going to have a look at monday.com and connect it up with Zapier. So in Zapier, we're going to create a Zap. When we get a new inquiry on the website, we want to automatically add that to the CRM, to that sales system. So at the moment, we on the website, we're using Webflow and Webflow has a nice Zapier integration. So we'll set one up for every time there's a form submission. And I believe we can set it up for a specific, the contact us form. Let's try that when people fill that in. So we've got site name, terrific, form name, get in touch form. Test the trigger. There we've got continue. And now we want to add in monday.com. So we find monday.com. The action is going to be create. Let's go down here, create an item. Now we need to sign in. So we need the API key. So we go into monday.com. We've got to go to the admin section under API. So let's go to Monday. Admin API generate copy. We paste it here. Continue. And we have it connected. And now we choose the board ID. So the one we just created, hopefully there. Yep, sales tracking. Group ID, we don't need. Oh, we do need, sorry. And we're gonna add the item under the group. Active leads. The item name, so we can call it the name here and we can add in the email and then we need to add then we can add the column values so monday.com works a little bit different than other platforms you need to do a little bit of json formatting you need to use the json format uh, in order to connect it up with zapier and so it's a matter of finding the actual column name, not the name that we see here. So this name here is what we can see as the user, but each of these columns has a unique name as well. So the way we find the board, the column name is we've got to, first we've got to open up the labs. We activate developer mode, and then we can hover over the column to get the column name. Let's go back to monday.com and we've got to activate the lab, Monday lab. So here it is, monday.labs under settings on the bottom left corner. So let's, app, let's turn that one on. Next. Sorry, text one. And the first one's called just text. Okay, great. So text for the name and text one for the email address. So text. And then we've got the name. In text one for the email. And then First, the active lead, I guess, yeah, that should actually be the company name. So let me remove this here from item name. We, we can call that the company instead. Okay, and then these fields also need to be formatted correctly. So if we go back to the JSON uh, guide, and this is just here in the link here, you can click to this documentation here if you need to look at it again. And you can see here that this is how the formatting needs to be for each of these 
parts. So for example, we want to add in text, so we need talking marks. Or if it's long text, it's like so. Both these columns that we're dealing with here are text columns, just regular text columns. So we should be able to just put the data straight in. We may not even need the talking marks. So let's test it. So we have all this ready, continue. Test and review. And then, there we go. It's added it in here as the final line. So it's that easy. That's a very uh, quick sort of start into it. Uh, let me know what you think and what questions you have about monday.com and I'll do some more videos and go into a little bit more detail as well coming up. Okay, thank you so much for, for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.